Okay, hello live from the center of Silicon Valley. Okay, you know what? I'm noticing a lot about being here in the center of technology is that there's a lot of stressed out people and I wanted to uh, talk about some ways to relieve that stress. And they're really simple and they don't cost any money. Um, so what I've noticed about myself when I get stressed out is if I go for a walk, I feel a thousand percent better. Um, the more green I can see, the better. So I like to walk in trees. I'm in a beautiful neighborhood now, Professorville. Um, this is where I used to live, just a few blocks from Steve Jobs. Tim Cook lives in the neighborhood. It's but the thing about this environment is that you don't have to accept the stress. A lot of it is just getting up and changing the rhythm of what you're doing right now. You can stand up and stop where you're at. It might be like a uh, worrying about something and ruminating um, so what you can do is stop stand up do a few planks um, get some coffee get some tea call someone um, meditate for a few minutes but just change what you're doing because oh there's a ladybug on my arm um, it just you know, that's what I love about travel. When you go somewhere completely different, you are exposing yourself to everything different. Food, culture, money, people. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, if you travel, you're not leaving anything behind. That's so not true. You're going to a completely new dimension. Um, so what I want to tell you today is you can get out of stress by taking a deep breath, filling up your belly, holding your breath as long as you can, and then exhaling, and then suspending your breath out. That will change everything. I'm not exaggerating. I forget to do it too, and I've been doing yoga for over 30 years. It's really easy to forget to breathe deeply. I don't know why, but uh, we don't really want to take time sometimes. And I really feel that this is all about loving yourself. And you know, you can hear that so much, so many times, but when you really put it into practice, it changes a lot. Um, practicing to be good to yourself. And I don't mean, you know, buying yourself a lot of stuff you don't need or, although it might mean spending money on yourself. Um, Cause some people don't find it easy to give themselves some small luxuries and it's a good practice to be in uh, just to, you know, give yourself a massage once in a while. if. If that's too expensive, which it is about a hundred bucks here at least, um, change your life and go to Thailand where it'll cost six dollars for a massage. I mean, it just depends on what you find, what you, um, what your path is, and I pray every day because I want to be guided, and I do get guided every day. I. I'm not saying you should do that, but certainly, I gotta tell you, with the stuff that I've been through in the past year, when I prayed, every single time that I pray, I feel so much better after, because it just puts you in a state of peacefulness, and I highly recommend it. And even if you haven't prayed in a long time, it does work. I expect my prayers to work. I don't know how they are gonna work out, but they do work out. So, um, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, what do you do to relieve your stress? Let me know.